Bobby's up there on that scissor lift yep. coming down from the heavens. It was beautiful. Of course, he's wrestling um, Andrade, who at the time hadn't found his footing quite yet, but he found it. And of course, he went on to AEW. Of course, you worked with him uh, in the same company, AEW. Um, he's had some issues there, uh, a very publicized fight, I guess, with Sammy Guevara. What do you know of the struggles? What do you tribute maybe uh, Andrade having issues with, if you can talk about it all, in AEW? Uh, I don't necessarily want to talk about it uh, because hmm. it's not my place to talk about it. It's not my business to talk about it. And I don't know the full story. All I know is Andrade is a proud human being, you know? And I do know that if uh, if you're gonna if you're gonna uh, rattle his cage, he's ready to go. Uh, that's and you know what? Also, he's another guy who stands up for what he believes in. So I have a lot of respect. He and I are are very close. You know, as far as like wrestling uh, comrades go. I, I imagine. You guys have drank tequila together because We've, yep, I was just about to say that. I have drank some tequila and that man can put down Manny can put down some tequila like nobody I've ever seen. And dude, not be phased at all. He is yeah. He is one of my favorite people to drink with, but also least favorite because he will drink my whole bottle. Uh, and there's no way I could keep up with him period, <laughs> because I am a lightweight. I mean, I'll admit it. People probably think the opposite, but uh, I am a very big lightweight because I don't, I, you know, when I drink, I'd never, ever, ever drink in excess. It's maybe one drink or two and that's it. But, but Mr. Andrade keeps pouring them. He, he does not stop pouring them. Especially when I buy the bottle, he'll pour it for sure. He won't <laughs> it, it, stop. It wasn't his bottle. I will say that. <laughs> so. Yeah, big surprise. But, but but going back to the match, dude, both those talents, so incredible. Um, I, I don't know. I don't want to get ahead of you here, but but I, I love the match. I love working with those guys. And if I'm not mistaken, and I could be, but I think Cash and I both had those two guys first match in NXT because we did a, uh, we did a UK loop, um, uh, with some kind of like music festival loop that we did and that was bobby's first match was there and he was in a six-man tag with us and it was so much fun and then i think andrade's first match in nxt was at a i think it was at a uh, tampa or orlando house show and it was a tag match he and someone else against me and dan and as soon as i came to the back i told cash i said he one because he's good looking two because he's an incredible wrestler An said, annoyingly good looking he's yeah, annoyingly good this is me off dude yeah. i'm like god why didn't god give me some of that but um like i told cash as soon as we got to that i said he's gonna be a star dude but that match i love the match i love the pacing i love the psychology um you know both those guys are so incredible i have so much respect for both of them as as men and as athletes and we certainly hope, at least I, I'm sure you do too, that he works out stuff with AEW because he was really finding his footing there with, um, and man, he had that great match with Darby and, and Sammy. Like he was really getting there. So I hope that all works out. I hope we see uh, wherever he is, Manny, Mr. Uh, uh, Andrade in a wrestling ring somewhere soon. Yep. Yep. Uh, yeah, well, okay. I hope I hope it's in the ring with me. I would I would love the opportunity to work with him again. I hope he's healing up okay. Uh, but I do. Before we skip across this match, there was one point in the match that I watched today that I don't want to leave out. Sure. Uh, there's a lot of psychology things I like to talk about, and I saw this point in the match, and I, it was so beautiful. Bobby is such an incredible heel, such an incredible antagonist, such an incredible bad guy that it just goes unnoticed sometimes because he's so good. But <clears throat> to cut Manny off today, or today to cut Manny off in that match i watched it today uh manny went to the top rope this beautiful high flyer you know and bobby hits the ropes and takes that away from the people he takes this high flying aerial move away from the people he doesn't cut manny off with a beautiful move you know right, what i'm saying right. he takes something away from the audience that they're expecting and hoping to see from this great acrobat right but he takes it away from them and and, and manny gets crotched on the top turnbuckle falls to the floor and then bobby without hesitation changes a fucking gear and stomps a mud hole right in manny and that's what a heel does 
That's what a heel does. He stops that baby face out of desperation. And then when the baby face is down, he takes all the, the he being the heel takes all of his anger, all of his embarrassment, all of his frustration out on the baby face with the gear change. And the gear change is what's missing today in wrestling. And when people do it, sometimes they practice their gear change. Gear change is a mental mindset. And you have a gear change in a real fight. Let's just say you're in a real fight, right? And it's happened to me before where, where I fucking been, been, you know, maybe get the shit kicked out of me or, or I've taken a couple of deals, but then the guy misses one and I come up and I catch him boom one time and he goes down and I know he's down for just a second and I'm pissed off and I come down and I start to fucking rain right hands on top of his face. That's a fucking gear change. And that's how you take a match from right here to here. You know what I mean? Uh, right. And change the whole course of the match. And Bobby did it with perfection there. He did it. He never outshined his baby face. Uh, he never overstepped his boundaries as a heel and he changed the gear at the perfect time with the perfect pace uh it was it was so beautiful and just the presentation of their characters and the wrestling you could tell both these guys are not going to be around in nxt too much longer right